And the Department of Homeland Security says the Biden administration's 100-day pause on deportation must go into effect today. The Texas Attorney General called the order unlawful and is now suing the Biden administration over it. NTD's Melina Weiskup has that story. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton says the 100-day deportation freeze violates a contractual agreement between Texas and the DHS. The freeze would place restrictions on border control agents. And since Texas is a border state, it means they'll face the brunt of it. So uh, a large number of individuals who have committed crimes, serious crimes, uh, will be released into the community in Texas. Uh, a lot of government expenditures will have to uh, be made. He says he expects the Biden administration will do everything it can to prevent a surge of migrants across the border so that Congress may be more likely to pass a newly proposed bill to fast track citizenship. But he says this deportation freeze will most likely cause more illegal entry attempts. Now, it says that they're going to prioritize the removal of people who entered uh, after a specific date. But once that individual is in the United States, there's no real way for uh, ICE to determine when that person entered. They're simply dependent upon the statements of that individual as to when they entered the United States. The DHS claims the purpose of the deportation freeze is to rebuild fair and effective asylum procedures and to respond to threats to national security, public safety and border security. They were things that were actually being prioritized by the Trump administration. So it's a little confusing as to why exactly uh, the Biden administration didn't go back to the old uh, Obama administration guidance. But for some reason, this is actually much, much more restrictive with respect to ICE. Texas Attorney General called the deportation freeze a blanket halt that, if unchecked, could give the Biden administration a gateway to bypass Congress for future immigration reform. The attorney general's lawsuit has already gained the support of Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Melina Weiskup, NTD News.